Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Sir Nariko, and today we're going on an incredible journey, a digital time machine if you will, to uncover the fascinating historical footprints of computer applications and interactive designs. Ever wonder how we got from clunky command lines to the sleek, intuitive interfaces we use every day? Well, buckle up, because we're about to unfold that story. The first known computer algorithm was written by Charles Babbage in the 19th century for his invention of the analytical engine in 1837. He was considered as the father of computing after his concept on analytical engine which contains the ALU, arithmetic logic unit basic flow control and integrated memory hailed as the general-purpose computer. ALU represents the fundamental building block of the central processing unit, CPU, of a computer. The first programmer was a woman named Augusta Ada Lovelace. She worked with Charles Babbage. She writes program for the analytical engine. The U.S. Defense Department created a computer language named ADA in her honor. 1967 at Dartmouth College, a computer language named BASIC, Beginner's All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code, was being developed to teach students programming. Bill Gates and Paul Allen, Harvard University students, decided to write a version of BASIC that would run on Altair, 1974, computer. This programming language became Microsoft BASIC. 1978, VCCLC, the first computer spreadsheet software program was developed by Den Bricklin and programmed by Bob Frankston. This program was available only in Apple II computer, but eventually sold to Lotus Development Corporation and the basis of the development of Lotus 123 spreadsheet application in 1983. At the same time, WordStar has been introduced by MicroPro International. WordStar is a word processor that was first written for the CPM operating system. It was ported to MS-DOS. Both programs are popular during the first half of 1980s. 1980, Microsoft have been chosen by IBM to provide many of the programs that would eventually run in the IBM PC. QDOS has been modified by Microsoft to run on the IBM PC and called it PCDOS during this time. 1981, a compiler has been developed by Microsoft for the other computer languages such as Fortran, Kubel, and Pascal. A compiler is a program that translates instructions into a machine code or lower-level form so that they can be read and executed by a computer. 1983, Lotus Development Corporation introduced Lotus 123, a spreadsheet program that was released on January 26, 1983 by Lotus Software, which is now part of IBM. Later a graphical user interface version of Lotus 123 was being released. In November 10, 1983, Bill Gates introduced Microsoft Windows as a graphical user interface for MS-DOS. The first versions of Windows, 1.0 to 3.11, were graphical shells that ran from MS-DOS. He then improved and enhanced the capabilities of the program over the years. 1984, Macintosh has been introduced. Macintosh is a family of personal computers designed, manufactured, and sold by Apple Incorporated. The programs that each computer have were different from each other that a tech savvy has to choose whether Macintosh or IBM PC machine. The Macintosh, often shortened to Mac, is a line of personal computers designed and marketed by Apple Incorporated. It has a rich history marked by innovation, changes in leadership, and significant shifts in technology. On November 19, 1990, Microsoft introduced Microsoft Office for Windows, which is a bundle of several applications in one package. It is known as Office 1.0 which includes Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel and Microsoft PowerPoint. In August 30, 1992, Microsoft Office 3.0 for Windows, Office 92 on a CDM, was released. This version contains Word 2.0, Excel 4.0a, PowerPoint 4.0 and Microsoft Mail. In 1994, Office 4.0 for Windows has been released. In 1995, Office 95 have been released. In 1996, Office 97 has been released. This the version where Office Assistant was introduced. Over the years there are several enhancements and releases that includes Office 2000 an update of the previous versions that have smoother user elements and improved security in January 1999, Office XP in May 2001, in this version Microsoft provided almost all features to users, 
Office 2003 with plenty of functionality and security features in November 2003. Office 2007 introduces the ribbon interface in January 2007, Office 2010 in 2010 which introduced the Office web apps. Microsoft Office has a long and rich history, evolving from a simple bundle of applications to a comprehensive suite of productivity tools and services. The evolution of the MS Office continues with Office 2013 and Office 365 that comes with the cloud integration. In mid-2011, Office 365 was introduced as a replacement of Microsoft's cloud-based business suite. This includes the web versions of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Mail Program and the unlimited storage on OneDrive for the subscribers. The latest version is the Office 2016. This version is completely optimized for mobile devices and touchscreens. Hey everyone! I just wanted to take a moment to express my sincere gratitude to all of you, my amazing viewers. Every like, every comment, every share, and especially every single one of you who subscribes means the absolute world to me. Creating these videos is a passion of mine, and knowing that you're out there watching and learning them makes all the effort worthwhile. Thank you for being such an incredible community and for your continued support. I truly appreciate each and every one of you.